Hello friends and welcome to another episode. So here I'd like to show you another 110 film camera. This is the Canon 110E. And it's very slim, right? You know, it's easy, easily pocketable. And this, they had another version called the ED. And the D stood for date. The date function. There were three buttons here for year, month, and day. And you could set the day so that when you took the picture it would imprint on your film. But I didn't want that. So I made sure I chose the E, the E only, and not the ED. So I'll walk you around the camera here. So this protects the lens, of course. So this is the viewfinder, and this is the light meter, and this is the lens. Let me get in focus here. So you can see here it's a 2.7 lens, and it's a 26 millimeter, 26 millimeter lens. I'll leave this open because I'm going to demonstrate the camera. This is the bottom part, quarter 20 tripod socket. And that's your film advance and the cock the shutter, right? So let me, this is the uh, the viewfinder and it also has a battery check. So if you want to check the battery, you push down and you'll see, look in the viewfinder and you'll see a little yellow light come on. That shows you that your battery is good. Okay. I'll open the back of the camera. You just push this little button in right here. The hinge is on the bottom. You have a P28 battery in here. Let me show you. This right in here is the P28, or you can use an A28. The difference is out. Now, excuse me, not P, P. The PX28 is the old one. The newer ones are A28 for alkaline and L28 for lithium. L28 is lithium. So the film goes in here. This is the back end of your lens. And I'll show you the different apertures here. So this camera has four aperture settings. So it's... Let me, let me come in. Okay, so the, the maximum is 2.7. It's fully wide open. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, you can see that was wide and a very fast shutter. Now let's go to the next one. It's F4. And that is the... That first one was the window. The next one is cloudy. So let's see what cloudy does. Okay, and you can see there's four aperture blades, right? It's a four-bladed aperture. And it's uh, it, was, it was a little bit slower, the shutter. Now we'll go to uh, sun. Sun is F8. I'll show you what the sun looks like, the setting. Okay, it's a little slower shutter, so you gotta make sure you hold the camera still for a minute. And then the last one is F16, the little dot. It's F16, so I'll show you what F16 looks like. It's a long shutter. Okay, that was about six or seven seconds. So that's a small aperture and a long shutter. Okay, so you saw the different uh, F2.7, 4, 8 and 16 and this is your let me get in focus again so this is your focal you got like a half a meter one meter and then you can tell right it's like a, a single person then a group of people and then mountain the mountain is right so let's see what else okay I showed you the front um, actually what the shutter looks like from the front So anyways, the, 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 the apertures, I read the manual, the, the apertures are 2.7, 4, 8, and 16. Okay, um, I think that's about it. It's a little lanyard, to carry lanyard. I'll, I'll close this up. And again, this is wonderful. So the build, let me cover the build. This is actually metal. So like the cheaper Kodaks are plastic. And there's a single, generally it was F8 or F11 fixed aperture, fixed shutter. There was only one speed. But you get into these higher cameras, higher end cameras. Minolta made a beautiful one too. I'll do a Minolta one later. It's coming up in my series. But it's also high end. And this has got the it's got a metal hot shoe. The chassis, the chassis of this camera is metal. It's got all these different focal lengths. It's got you know these different settings here, four different apertures. So it's just a wonderful camera. The build quality is just like really solid. So I've kind of gone long enough here in explaining the camera. It's just a, it's really just a joy. Let me open it wide open again. Let me do one more so you can see it this way. Okay, here, one more. See, that was fully wide open. Boom. So you had a nice large aperture. Okay, I'm going to roll the images. And now these were, these are uh, Lamography Peacock. This is actually a color slide film.